Okay, it's time to grind some wheat, so I thought I'd do a short video on my Country Living Grain Mill. My uh, Country Living Grain Mill is one of the best investments that I've ever made when it comes to prepping. I've had my mill now for nine years. Nine years. Think about that. That's, uh, that's a lot of grinding. I can't remember the last time that I purchased flour or corn mill at the store. I grind my own. I grind uh, my wheat, grind corn, uh, spelt, kamut, and uh, several other grains. Now this mill originally cost me about $400 and the motorization kit that they sell with it is another $400. However, I was able to find a surplus GE gear motor online at uh, surpluscenter.com and I made a crude mount for it and it's been running ever since. You just have to uh, make sure if you're going to motorize it yourself that you understand what the RPMs are on your gear motor and what your pulley ratios are. The bottom line is, is you want the mill to turn at about 60 RPMs. That way it doesn't get too hot. Uh, heat is an enemy of nutrients. And you can see this is with the stock uh, auger and this is great for uh, wheat. They also sell a replacement auger that you can buy. It's called the corn and bean auger. And it looks like this. And it's a pretty simple matter to, to switch them out. You simply unscrew this, pull the parts out, switch them, and stick them back in. Um, you can see the corn and bean auger is, is wider and a little bit beefier. And that aids in getting the uh, corn kernels and, and bigger beans down in there so they get pushed up against the grinding plates. Whereas the stock auger is um, a little bit narrower and a little bit better suited for, for grinding wheat. I also um, took the uh, handle off. You can buy the handle attachment for manual cranking. And let me assure you, if you're going to buy one of these, you need to motorize it. The handle uh, attachment does work, but uh, if you're going to grind any amount of, um, of grain, you're going to need to motorize it in some fashion. It's, it's hard work to run this thing by hand and get a good fine grind like you would buy at the store. So anyway, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to grind some uh, wheat. This is Montana wheat. I buy uh, hard red um, winter wheat. And you can see good looking stuff. That Montana wheat is good stuff. I think this was marketed under the name a bronze chief, if I remember correctly. And that's the uh, Mylar bag that I originally had it sealed up in. When I open a bag, I go ahead and put it in a bucket and use these uh, screw-on tops. They work great. That's, uh, that's a good thing to have. So anyway, let me get this set up and uh, we'll grind some wheat. Okay, we've gone ahead and topped off the hopper with some wheat. Um, we've adjusted the grind to get it like I want it. And that's basically screwing that uh, knob in tighter or looser to uh, uh, make the grind, the flour, uh, finer or coarser, depending upon what you want. And you can see that is, uh, that's looking nice right there. This uh, particular bin is uh, the bin that Country Living sells. Uh, they're kind of expensive for what you get. But, let's see if you can see right here. See, they will fit right on the mill perfectly. Um, so they've sort of got the market cornered as far as that goes. But um, anyway, you only need a couple of those and uh, you'll be good to go. You can see how slow I've got this mill turning. I'm not in any hurry. I want to keep the uh, grinding plates nice and cool. I don't want them to get hot and destroy the nutrients in the grain. But uh, this is pretty much all there is to it. And this is going to take a while. This will probably be, I don't know, to grind... Uh, this, is, this holds eight cups. It'll probably take me about 30 minutes or so at this rate. But at this point, I can just uh, walk away from it and let it uh, do its work. Or I usually sit down here and listen to a ball game or listen to a podcast or, or something like that. So anyway, uh, we'll let that mill do its work. And uh, I'm going to go uh, sit down and take a break. <laughs> 